everybody know that we are live and we are being the sermon. All right. Though tried, beaten, and oppressed, be like Paul. Be the sermon. I will go. Though in the face of adversity, with your back against the wall, be like Esther. Be the sermon. I will go. Though your hesitations arise and you feel uncomfortable, be like Jonah. Be the sermon. I will go. Though your friends may betray, may betray you and your loved ones forsake you, be like Jesus. Be the sermon. I will go. Good evening, everyone. It is my esteemed privilege to welcome each and every one of you here this evening to our Global Youth Day 2022 Festival of Youth Rally. Each year, Seventh-day Adventist youth all around the world step out of their comfort zones, out of the four walls of the church to enter into the communities to share the gospel and ultimately be the sermon. This evening, we come together to celebrate and share the good works that the Lord has done right here in the Bahamas through our youth departments. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the service, and don't forget to go out and be the sermon. Let's bow our heads as we open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you so much for this day. Lord, I want to thank you so much for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon each and every one of us. Lord, as we come to celebrate and give you thanks and praise for what you have done this Global Youth Day, we ask that you allow for our ministry and our works to not have been done in vain. I ask that you allow us to have a great, a great dwelling here today, tonight. I ask that you allow us to ultimately reach all of the lives that we talked to today, minister to today, and even go out more and be the sermon. Lord, I want to thank you so much for all that you have done and all that you continue to do for us. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, so we are starting with our program now. First up, we have a musical praise by open, by open praise. Let's welcome them as they come. One, two. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Clap your hands, blow Praise some horns. Lord. Let's have a good time in the Lord. Let me hear you, let me hear you, let me hear you. Let me hear you. If you believe that God is good, let me hear you. God is good all the time and all the time. God is so good. He's so good to me. We bless him in the beauty of holiness. Let me see the hands of those who are happy to be here. Let me see the hands of those who are happy to be here. Let me hear the cars of those who are happy to be here. We're going to lift him up. We're going to have a good time in the Holy Spirit. Come on, let's sing. Everybody together. God is so good. Lift it up. God is so good. Come on. God is so good. If you believe it today, just lift it up God to him. God is so good. God is so good. God is He's a so good God today. So good. God is so good. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Everybody say. God is so good. He's so good to me. So We're gonna move it. Come on, let's do it one more time. God is so good. if you love him. Put your hands together if you love him and you want to lift up his name. How many of us want to lift up his name and declare that he is great? Jesus, we lift up your name. 
He turned it around today. And we're going to talk about it. Anybody want to dance? Get up on your feet. Come on out to cars. Let's do some dancing. Come on, guys. Come on, have a good time. Let's go. Put your hands together. Come on, let's go. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. He turned out weeping into worship. He turned out pressing to praise. So we're going to praise him today. If you know it, come on. You turn my, you turn my weeping into worship. You turn my pressure into praise. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Just lift up your hearts and open worship to him. Hallelujah. Come on, want to sing of your love. Let's go. Want to sing of your love. God, we want to sing of your mercy. Want to sing of your mercy. Want to tell the whole world of the greatness of wanna you. Want to tell the whole world. Just touch yourself and say, so I sing of your love, O God. Hallelujah. So I sing of your love. And I'll sing of your mercy. And I'll sing of your mercy. And I'll tell the whole world of the greatness of you. And I'll tell the whole world of the greatness Can we give it to him again? You. Let's do that again. Want to see All over, all over this neighborhood today. Tell the whole world. Cause he's been so good to us. Has he been good to I'm anyone today? So I'll sing of your love. Hallelujah. So I'll sing of your love. God, I'll sing of your mercy today. And I'll sing of your mercy. Come on, family. We'll tell the whole world. Greatness of you. Greatness Somebody of get you. crazy for Jesus and say, We lift up your name. Come on. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name today. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up Tell him again. Your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Everything we lift you up. Your name is higher than the heavens. Greater than the nations. So we call you. Come on, someone, give him praise. Come on. Lord, we come. Lord, we come to lift you. Lord, we come to lift you up. Give you praise. Give you praise and lift you up. With everything. We bless you, God. Your name is higher. Your name is higher than the day. Greater than the nation. Greater than the day. So we call him Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. Lord, we come to lift you up. Say. Lord, we come to lift you up. Give you praise. Give you praise. Give you praise. Everything we lift you up.
from inside out. We are going to continue to give what we can afford to give. There's no end to prayer. The dollars may be short, but the prayers are long. So I want you all to continue praying for the youth of living faith. That we will continue this job throughout 2022 and onward. Good afternoon, Good afternoon once again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we're from the New Providence Seventh day Adventist Church. My team leader and I. Um, today we made it our business to find out each individual's name along with inviting them to church. We gave out both spiritual and physical fruits to each member, each person, each individual that we pass, and we our goal is not only for them to come to church, yes, the Sabbath coming, but also to continue throughout the year so they can become a member of the New Providence Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. If you believe that you are loved, let me hear you make some noise. My name is Cantalicia, and I represent the beautiful Bethany Seventh-day Adventist Church. So our theme that we have decided for Global Youth Day, under the theme of, um, yes, <laughs> of the conference theme, Loving the Forgotten, we wanted to go with not lucky, but love. More than lucky, loved. And we wanted everyone in the church first to feel that they are loved. So we decided to reach out to all those in the church who have not been to church for months, for years, who have we, we haven't seen. And we decided to reach out to them so that they can come back to church. Then we took that and went out into the community today. We went out into the Delaford community and we as a youth ministry decided to work with the other ministries, the children's ministry, the community ministry, the prayer ministry, and also the health ministry. So all of us were out there in the community and we invited those in the Delaport community to come out and eat what we provided. We had scallop salad, we had pasta, and we also had some um, comforters. <laughs> so, and we also had for our health ministries, we did um, blood pressure check, diabetes. Um, we also had our dentists out there giving out um, toothbrush and just talking about health, dental health. And before we went out today, we had a pre global youth day Vesper service last night. So that is what Bethany is doing. We're reaching from inreach to outreach. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sabbath to all. In preparation of our Global Youth Day initiative, the youth leaders of Johnson Park took to the streets last week. And what we did is we targeted the areas of Chippenham, specifically um, Boyd Road, Foster Street, Farrington Road, and Christopher Road. We took to the streets and we gave out flyers that promoted the events that we had for today. 
as of this morning at 7 a.m., alongside some of our members who donated both their time and their resources, Johnson Park was able to hold a free breakfast giveaway where we had grits and tuna as well as grits and hot dog alongside some sweet fever grass tea to give out to the persons that came to us. Alongside the food, we also prepared 120 food packages that were given out. And also, we set aside um, two special care packages for two specific areas. A few weeks back, we did a study and we realized that the, con the conditions in which the persons had lived in those areas, it was a bit deplorable and it was sad to see that persons actually live that way. So we prepared special bags along with care packages and we went out and delivered it personally to them. And we just gave them a, a word of encouragement to just help them get along the week until we can make some further provisions to assist them. Besides the, the food package giveaway as well as the breakfast, a few minutes ago we just came from our church um, from doing a clothing drive. We were able to receive numerous clothes from our members that were donated. They were in great condition, um, gently worn, no tears, no anything, and they were all clean. And we had a bunch of clothing, and the, the members of the community came out, and they collected clothes to help them go to interviews, to help encourage them to go to come to church, all sorts of clothing. And it was a great turnout. We had a bunch of persons come. About 80% of the clothing that we received were gone by 5 o'clock. And the rest of the clothing that are left, we are going to donate them to the Salvation Army or the Great Commission. Um, besides that, I do feel as though I can attest for all of the youth of Johnson Park, where I would say that we actually take pride now more in community outreach. And it's something that we plan to do more and more as the year goes by. Good evening, everyone. I represent New Anglestown. Are you in the house? All right, all right, all right. Sound like you're all a big contingent out there. Today, we had a very special day where we went into our community. We hit all the streets um, from East Street to Cordo um, Avenue from East Street to Crooked Island Street to Palmetto Street. We went door to door today, and we did blood pressure screening. We hit about, I'm estimating because I didn't take a count, but we probably hit about 50 homes today. We did words of encouragement with them, prayed with them, and also gave them tips on how to better their health as it, as it pertains to blood pressure, high blood pressure. We also left our contact with them, and we met with some of these members, well, community persons who visit our church on Sabbath afternoon, sometimes for a meal. So we are open on Sabbath afternoons for a meal to our community just about every week. And we have some persons who are consistently coming, so we were able to meet some of them in their homes today. We are all so excited that also today in Wilson Track, where we have been for a number of years, we were able to have a children's program put on by our children's ministry department. We had about 18 or so children from the community there who participated. They were treated to some old Sabbath school quarterlies and a little treat, because children always like cookies and drinks, and so they were really excited about that. We ask that you continue to pray for Angliston. We are a small church in the heart of the city with a big heart, and we know that God is going to do something miraculous in our community, and we are also, um, we are also, um, we have some of our young people who are not afraid to talk with persons who come in. I'm talking about you're drunk, you could come and we will talk with you and pray with you. You are needy, 
we will find something for you, a care package or whatever, and we will give. And so we're asking God to open the windows of heaven, pour out a blessing that there won't be room enough to receive it, that all who needs can be met physically and spiritually. And so we're excited about what God is doing, and we look forward to great things in the months to come and years to come. God bless. Okay, let's make some noise for our churches. Weren't those some lovely reports? Weren't those some lovely reports? Service above self and love in action. That's what it's all about. Right now, coming up, we have a presentation by Living Faith Drama. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see what they have to present. So let's welcome them as they come.
All right, all right, all right. I'm sure we can do better than that. Let's give them a round of applause. Let's give them some horns. What a great performance. What a great performance. How many of us know that God can break any chain in our life? Any chains in our life, God is able to break. Let's give them another round of applause. What a wonderful performance. What a wonderful performance. We can see that the Lord is really doing a great work here in the South Bahamas Conference. Are we, are we, do we, are we in agreeing? Are we agreeing? The Lord is doing a great work here in the South Bahamas Conference through our youth. At this time now, we are going to have a special treat. Like we mentioned, Global Youth Day is global, obviously, and right here in the Bahamas, not only did we here in New Providence participate in Global Youth Day, but also other islands. So at this time, we are going to have phone call reports from Andres and Exuma. Hey, I'm good. Okay, yes. So today in North Andres, we had a wonderful outreach where some of the members went out in the, into the community surrounding our church. That would be the Low Sound community, the Pineville community, and the Fire Road community. And we visited some of our sick and shut-in members of the church as well as members of the community. And um, we ministered to them in song and in prayer and we gave them a care package and it was just a wonderful experience they seemed to be touched by our act of love and um, so much so that one lady we visited was even moved to tears and another couple we visited um didn't want us to leave they just wanted to keep singing hymns and praising god so i know that the persons in the community were really touched by our ministry today and we were touched and we were blessed also by ministering um, we also are looking forward to doing more community outreach in um, all over um, North Andres, not just in those communities surrounding the church. And some of the members that we visited of the community, their living conditions were not too good. And so we want to, in the coming months, upcoming months, we want to go back to those persons and we want to help fix up their environment, fix up their houses and clean up um, for them because a lot of them are sick and shuttered and live alone and they really need that loving, tender care that we are willing to offer them. So we're really looking forward for that in the upcoming months. Thank you so much, Dion, and give all of our love to all of the members there in North Andros. Let's give her a big round of applause and all of our brothers and sisters in North Andros, to your husband, Pastor Lee Burroughs, to your first elder, Belinda Roll. We love you and thank you for a wonderful report from North Andros. God uh, bless you today. Thank you. You're all welcome. Right. At this time, we're going to go to Zuma and interview um, Duran Clark. Hey, Pastor. Hi, Duran. How are you doing? Pretty good, man. How are you? We're doing well. We're hearing you live here at BA on our Global Youth Day rally. Tell us what took place today in at Zuma with the youth for Global Youth Day. Awesome, man. Yeah, man. Hey, we're here at Zuma, and we are so excited because we had a wonderful day at Global Youth Day 2022. Here in Exuma, we up to the streets we didn't even start from today we started from last evening and what we did was we had the youth come together and at 6 p.m we started to put together these bags and these gifts and everything we got some fresh fresh break exuma bread and we had some juices and everything and we put these things together some rice some tuna and we just put together some care packages for all of our communities here in Exuma, we reached out to the uh, out to the um, oh my goodness, it was the Mount Thompson area, it was the Ramsey area, it was the Forest area. We went to the Boulevard, we wow. went to Morristown, we went to Tar Bay, and our young people were in small groups, and they were so 
happy to just get out and witness to the members of the community here in Exuma. These persons that we reach out to today, they were so blessed, so touched, because not only did we go with handouts and, and books and everything, but we also brought something that they could have uh, put in their stomach. So they were happy and they were more receptive to receiving the word of God through song, through prayer, with, through text, uh, and, and uplifting words from our young people. There was nobody over 35 pastor that spoke today in the community. It was all the young people, and everybody was able to enjoy and receive the word of God from these young people today. So it was a wonderful time that we had here in Exuma, and we just praise God for the, for the word and the message and the witness that has gone forth. And so far, we are, so, we are awaiting the, the bringing in the sheaves. We are waiting people to come to the church. We are waiting even to go out and further ministry in the coming weeks and months. As no. Sister Dayana said, we want to have persons uh, expecting us on a regular basis. And our youth are uh, encouraged, and they are ready to go out into the field more and more. Thank you so much, Duran. Give all of our love to the youth there in Zuma. Let's give North Anderson and Zuma a big round of applause from Nassau all the way to you guys. We send our virtual hugs and our horns and our love to you. Awesome report, and God bless you tremendously. At this time, we're going to have a special promotion by the Ministry of Word SBC 88.3 FM. Let's give it up for all the young people. Our young people are doing some amazing, amazing things. And the South Bahamas Conference will not be left behind. That's why there is a very special program on Word SBC 88.3 FM called Young and Trending with your host, Pastor Nasa. And Tyler. And we talk about all types of topics. We talk about relationships. We talk about Halloween. And what else we talk about, Tyler? Boy, we touched that subject of pornography. Mm, we, we talk, talk about, about pornography. Men versus women. Mm. Investing. Mm. All these stuff that young people need to talk about. Mm, They're that, scared to talk about. That's right. But that's not us. Because our slogan is, we aim to be, be bold, bold, be true, true and, and be heard. heard. So there's no topic that's taboo. So you can catch us when? Every Tuesday from 6 to 6.30 and reruns on Wednesdays and Fridays from 3.30 to 4 o'clock. Now, if you haven't caught us on the radio, you can catch us on our social media pages at SBC Media Network on Instagram and Facebook. That's right, that's right. So trust me, you don't want to miss it. You want to be a part of those conversations. All those things you, they say that you can't talk about, we talk about. So tune in to Word SBC 88.3 FM. Mm -hmm. Also, there are another group of programs that you can't afford to miss. That's right, Simply Healthy with Nadia B. Then we have The After Drive. On your way home from work, we have contemporary music to lift your soul. Then every Sabbath morning, there's something called Sabbath Delight. You want to tune in for that. And then Young and Trending that airs during the week. So tune in to Word SBC 88.3. Let's support our youth. And let's go Bahamas! Oh, come on, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Are you ready to praise Him? Come on, we had some wonderful reports. Now it's time to praise the Lord again. Are you ready to shout? Are you ready to praise? Amen. Because He's good, we're going to take you all the way back and talk about the goodness of how good God is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, come on. Good and your mercy 
are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Come on. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Come on, people from every nation. People from every nation. From generation to generation. Come on, we worship. awesome. He's been magnificent. So many words that you can't even describe how good he is. So guess what? Anybody ready? You know, we've been, we've been away from each other a little too long. We ain't had much choir practice and all them stuff. It's time now, choir practice. Any sopranos? 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 Altos? The tenors? Okay, I can need my tenors. All right? You ready to have quiet practice? Come on. I think we got exactly what it is we got to lift up to the Lord today. Come on, let's swell the atmosphere with his praise. Come on, he is wonderful. Come on, let's say it to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, salvation and glory. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. To the, Lord our God. to the Lord our God. Come on, for the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. Come on, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God is omnipotent. Come on, the Lord our God. Come on, He is wonderful. 
Come on, lift your voices. Come on, let's sing it. Hallelujah. Say to the Lord, draw me close to you. Very simple song, never let me go. Anybody want to draw a little closer to Jesus? Anybody want to draw a little closer to him? And I don't know about you, with all of the death and devastation that's been happening, everybody needs to draw a little closer. Hallelujah. Sing it, draw me close to you.
morning. We're here to lay it down. Come on, to hear you say that I'm your friend. To hear you say that I'm your friend. Come on, you are my desire. You are my desire. Come on, no one else will do. No one else will do. Come on, could nothing else could take the place. Hallelujah, to feel the warmth of your embrace. To feel the warmth of your embrace. Come on, let's say it to the Lord. Help me find my way. Help me find my way. Bring me back to you. Come on, let's lift it up to him. Let's say it to him. Oh, oh you are my When you're in doubt, when no one else is around, always remember he is near. God bless you. Let's continue to give God a praise. Let's continue to give God a praise. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Let's continue to give God all the praise. He is worthy. Okay, so our program is slowly coming to an end. At this time, we are going to invite our last set of churches for our reports. And in the order, they're coming, Hillview, Good News, Centreville, and Grantstown. Once again, that's Hillview, Gra Good News, Centreville, and Grantstown. Let's welcome them. very short. Today, Hillview, we went into one of our territories, which is the Yellow Elder community, and we served our community free breakfast. We also gave, not gave out, we also, <laughs> we also had free blood testing, free blood sugar testing, and free pressure testing. And we also had live Sabbath school out in the park, yeah. and so we were able to feed over 250 people yeah. and help 60 people get their pressure and glucose checks. And that's all for Hillview. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let me hear you honk your horns again. My name is Alicia coming from the Good News Church. Can we get all the good news, make some noise? And then can we get some noise for all the youth? Woo. So our church, we went out into 
the different communities we visit, we teamed up with the children's ministry and we went to all of our members, our youth that hasn't been coming into the church. You know, we've been on Zoom and YouTube. So we went and visit them to encourage them to come out. We gave them big thank you, um, we miss you cards fruit basket and food vouchers. And so we just wanted to encourage them to come back, especially those we haven't seen for a very, very long time. Let me hear you say, let me hear you honk your horns. We're marching in the army of the Lord, giving out free treats, giving out free soup. We are marching in the army of the Lord. All right. We're marching in the army of the Lord. We're marching in the army of the Lord, giving out free treats, giving out free soup. We are marching in the army of the Lord.
the enthusiasm, the love, the service. Aren't we proud of our youth? Aren't we proud of our youth? All right, our program, like I said, is coming to our close. But before we get into the, before we get into the, um, the, the chapel part of it again, we will now introduce again the Living Faith Drama Ministries.
Good evening, everyone, and happy, happy Sabbath. I can't hear you. Uh, uh. This program was too amazing for y'all just to sit there. Good evening, everyone, and happy, happy Sabbath. Yes, yes, that sounds so much better. So this evening, I bring to you your Vesper thought or your charge. Who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? In the story of the Good Samaritan, Jesus ended with an appeal to all youth and church members. He says, go, go and do likewise. The truth is, not all of us can go as missionaries to foreign lands, but all can be home missionaries in our families and neighborhoods. There are many ways in which church members may give the message to those around them. Think about the orphans in our neighborhoods, the young girls who are molested, the men in gang violence, women who are abused and left to suffer in silence, youth and adults suffering in depression, an increase in our suicides in, neighbor, in our neighborhoods. There is so much work to do. Go in your neighborhoods, and we refuse to be silent. On our social media platforms, we will advocate and bring awareness to the struggles of our neighbors. Our voices will and must be heard. Let's make Global Youth Day not just this one day, but every day, every week, by visiting those who live near you and with sympathy and kindness seek to reach their hearts. Be sure to work in a way that will remove prejudice instead of creating it. And remember that those who know the truth for this time and yet confine their efforts to their own churches, refusing to work for their neighbors, refusing to work for their unconverted neighbors, will be called to account for their unfulfilled duties. But who is my neighbor? The idea of neighbor was used in biblical times to to refer to one's countrymen and foreigners who had settled in a single country. Now, in our time, this is no longer the case. The correct biblical concept for neighbor is anyone who needs me, anyone whom I can help, anyone whom you can help. So, Jesus says, go and do likewise. Will you go? We have come to the end of our Global Youth Day Rally. Let's give a horn and a round of applause for all of our youth, our AOI leaders. We call them youth ministers for the tremendous job that they have been doing. At this time, we want to welcome into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church those who are watching virtually and those who are present. I'm going to invite Chaplain LaCroix to join me on the platform because... We're about to have our closing prayer. And today we had five youth who were baptized from Bahamas Academy Week of Prayer. Let's give them a big round of applause and beep your horn for them, somebody. And if, if Principal Sands is here, can you join us on the platform, Principal Sands? If we have pastors who are here, can you please join us on the platform? I see Pastor Sims. I see Pastor Ramming. I think Pastor Ramming is here. Join us on the platform. All right, my, my, my security is telling me that Pastor Ramming is here. Pastor Ramming, please come on the platform. Pastor Joseph is here. Pastor DeVoe, President DeVoe is already on the platform. If we have any other pastors, Pastor Lyndon Williams, are you here? Join us on the platform as we unite to pray over our young people today. Chaplain, um, tell us how many young youth were baptized uh, thus far this year at Bahamas Academy and do a plug for Bahamas Academy. This is the school of the prophets. Yes, thank you, Pastor Jamal, Pastor Franklin, for first off announcing, you know, what happened today. Today we were blessed with five young people who gave their life to Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, make some noise. And currently for the year, for the year, Bahamas Academy, true the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit. He's been moving 
of uh, uh, Through the Corridors of Bombs Academy. And I just want to tell you, I, I give all the praise, the honor, and the glory to the Lord because I couldn't do it. The principal couldn't do it. Uh, Mr. Simlet couldn't do it. But it only goes to God. We have now reached a record breaking of 25 baptisms for the school year. Come on, make some noise. 25 and in counting. And in counting, the Lord has been doing great things at BA. But I can tell you this, when, 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 when the disciple went to the Andrew and he said, Andrew, is, is there anything good could come from Nazareth? What is his response? His response was, come and see. So I'm inviting you, if you think there's anything good can come from Bombs Academy, if you think there's anything good coming from there, I'm just going to tell you, just come on down and see it for yourself. There's greatness happening right over there. If your child isn't going there, just bring them over there. Because what's going over there is many blessings. What's going over there is, is spirit-filled. And I thank you for your prayers. I ask in your prayers as we continue to serve and minister to young people. Thank you. All right, as we invite President DeVoe to come and pray, I'm going to ask PJ and the praise team to come up as we sing side by side, we stand, and then President DeVoe will pray. Um, Dr. Joseph, can you join us on the platform? Pastor Ramin, can you join us on the platform? We're going to stretch out our hands. PJ, tell Dr. Joseph he can't hear me from behind the platform. We're going to stretch out our hands and pray for you. We're going to ask those of you inside of your cars, just to step outside your car. Just a step outside your car. We're going to stretch forth our hands to you. And we're going to sing side by side we stand. Next weekend we have our conference convention. Beginning Friday night, ending Sunday night. And then the next week we're back here at Bahamas Academy for our Pathfinders and Master Guide Campery April 1 to 3 right here at Bahamas Academy. So we're going to sing side by side. We stand waiting God's command and you can wave your hand and you can worship with us as we get ready to consecrate you. <laughs> Just wave your hand. No holding hands. Just wave your hands. All right. Side by side we stand. Living by His grace, living by His grace, moving out in faith, moving on in faith. Jesus Himself, Himself will see us through. Can I see you wave your hand where you are? Don't you me in heaven, we'll join hands together. Meet me. children I don't want any children running around we're getting ready to have a consecration prayer 
So parents, guardians, make sure your children are standing next to you. Cover them as we pray, as we consecrate them for the battles we face in 2022. Let's have an atmosphere of reverence as we intercede to God today. All heads bowed and all eyes closed. President of Let us pray. Almighty Heavenly Father, you who looked through the corridors of time and saw this day, and saw that our young people here in the South Bahamas Conference will be all over the city of Nassau and our family of islands, loving those who were forgotten. We thank you so much for this opportunity to be a witness for you. We know that we were unable to do it by ourselves, and so we thank you for the working, powerful Holy Spirit that were in our young people and older folks alike. Oh God, I pray that we will not just do this on this one Global Youth Day, but as somebody said, that we will do this all the days of this year. Amen. That we will shine for you. We know that you have no, no other hands but ours, no other feet but our feet, no other voice but our voices. And so we pray that your Holy Spirit will invade our bodies, take full control of yes. all of us, so that we'll be able to do what you want us to do in 2022. Amen. Oh God, we know that we have been coming off two uh, rough years with this COVID-19, but we thank you so much for the way that you've been dealing with now, giving us a chance to get out of COVID-19 and just to uh, magnify and glorify your most holy name. Amen. Oh God, I pray that like your servant said, with such an army of youth, rightly trained, yes. what will this church be? And so God, I pray that you will uh, surround each one of our young persons in this church, those who are out here this evening with us, we pray that you surround them with your presence, and we pray that you will beat back the forces of evil on all those that want to cause confusion in their lives. Amen. And God, I pray that as you surround them, that they will feel you and as they are called upon each day to make decisions, those decisions will bring honor and glory to you. We thank you for our youth leaders, those who dedicate themselves to training uh, this army of youth. We pray that you'll be with them as well. We pray that they will not get tired in well-doing, but they will continue to do the great work for which they have called. Oh God, I pray that those of us uh, in the office will rally around our young people and our youth leaders and give them all the support that they need. Uh, we pray that when they call their programs, that we will show up, show up, be present with them uh, in the mission field and also here when we celebrate the victories we've gained today. Oh God, I thank you for our young people on the family of islands who are far away from us. We pray that they will feel your presence each day as well and that they will be a witness for you. Oh God, I pray that as we face the challenges of 2022, that we will know that we are not fighting these challenges alone, that you are with us because you promise never to leave us nor forsake us. And we hold on to that promise today. Oh God, as we leave this place this evening, we pray that you will go with us as we leave. We pray that you will never leave us and that we will understand that we are always in your presence. And we need to behave like children of yours. Oh God, continue to be with our parents. We know that sometimes it is a challenge, but we pray that they will not give up as well, that they will continue to lift up their young people in prayer. Oh God, continue to be with all of us, and may we continue to be a witness for you, and that we will be faithful until you come or call. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's get happy, let's get happy as we go home. Let's get happy in Jesus. Turn me up. 
That's bad. Jesus. What does that spell? Jesus. 
blessing that will be when the fish arrive. And if all that you believe, you're the river side. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting, on that happy morning when the storm shall rise. Oh, what glory, hallelujah, when we need our blessings in your river side.
just praise him in the park. It's just okay if we give him a little more praise. Hallelujah. It's our God. Come on, Ryan. Give it to me. Everybody go, how great, how great. it up to him Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I grew him more and more Jesus Jesus precious Jesus oh for grace to trust him more Sing it if you know it. Precious Jesus, save your friend. Yeah. 
Bye.